We're here with Mark Thompson, Managing Director of Talga Resources. Mark, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. It's been a busy start to the year, firstly with Haydale. Yes, yes, it's been a big uh, big start to the to the year. So the commercial supply agreement with Haydale um, was, a, was a good one. Haydale we've been working with for some time now, and what we've evolved to is a commercial supply agreement where they're starting to get very close to commercialising a range of conductive ink products in, in Asia. I've been up to their operations there and seen them, a great team, and uh, we really feel they're on the verge of significant momentum in, the, in their markets that they're going into. Um, and yeah, so what they've done is they've tested our material and found it conducts electricity about 15% more than using synthetic graphite, which is the sort of the purest um, form in the world. And so this is a significant uh, advantage that we're seeing that could apply to other customers as well. But Haydale, they're AIM listed, they're UK listed, but I think they're underrated for the fact that they have built substantial operations now in Thailand and Taiwan uh, and the US, and they're starting to get real traction in their areas. And so is the product they're looking to produce a replacement product for silver, copper and other things, and how is it actually used? Yeah, good point. So con the conductive inks that we're targeting specifically, because they do composites as, as well, many things, but uh, on the conductive ink though, first of all, conductive ink is, yeah, is a printed electronic circuit, um, commonly used, most people are probably aware of little biomedical machines that you put a blood drop on a strip and you push it into the machine. Um, actually, they look a bit like this. This, this one has got uh, silver on it and, and copper. So what you have is... Um, some silver, a little bit of copper, and also some carbon black in here. So it's a current market conductive ink. It's screen printed, and essentially you can run an electric current through these things. There's another version, something that they're, they're a bit more interested in that we're doing with them, which is uh, this material. This, is, this one is made by DuPont. This is a polyethylene uh, sheet, and it's got a silver uh, circuits printed onto it. Silver is very expensive. The silver is very conductive, but it's really expensive. So what we're doing is looking at replacing that with low cost, low toxic, uh, graphene essentially and, and uh, carbon from, from our Vitangi project. Um, but the difference is we can actually make this transparent so you cannot see it. And that gives you an opportunity to use this in food packaging, um, computer packaging, um, liquor, especially in places where there's a lot of counterfeiting problems, where there's fake problems and the governments want to be able to measure something. So imagine a, an electric circuit printed with transparent ink, you can't see it, uh, and there's a special code printed onto it, you can have a customs official put his phone on it through the screen and it will actually give him a tick or not whether the product is kosher or not. But no one can fake that because they can't see it. Um, this could apply to other forms of packaging as well. And so the graphene allows you to have a transparent conductive sheet. And that's not existed before. So fast growing markets, over three billion a year current market um, across the conductive ink spectrum. So to start getting some sales and some experience in this area is, um, is a good step for us in the right direction and that fits under our coding sector. And a key hire which rounds out what is fast growing a very big team offshore. Uh, yeah, indeed. In fact, we have uh, now over 20 people roughly working for the company in the European operations. The UK is growing in particular. Uh, the technology team there, we now have uh, nearly seven PhDs working in the company. So we have a lot of in-house technology, which you need for graphene products to be able to fit into the outside world, to be able to get them to, to mesh. And we're very pleased to announce that, yeah, D Dr. Anna Motta was gonna um, join us into our management, senior management team there. She comes from the University of Cambridge, where for, she's been there for, for over 10 years and more recently running the Cambridge Graphene Centre and the admin and program side. So she has a, a lot of industrial link uh, relationships and, and knowledge on the commercialization of the technology. So she's gonna be working there with our, with our team there and in Germany. And that's, that's part of this growing uh, commercialization that's underway for this year. And just touching on that, the company's clearly transitioning into a commercialization and a sales uh, phase? Yes, we are. So we've obviously gone through a phase of mining and then processing technology and then uh, the product, product strategy, which has certainly accelerated um, the way the company is growing. And as part of that, to interface with even more customers and the way the market demands are growing on us, we have to employ more people in that space and that includes marketing and sales roles that, are, that we're expanding as well. Uh, so yeah, it's, we're very excited about that because then you've got this fully vertically integrated company that's making products that suit exactly what the world's interested in today, which are things like your batteries, your lightweight materials, your conductive flexible materials. You know, these are the exciting material spaces that are happening and we're exposed to all of those. So we, we're, gearing, uh, we, we're gearing the team up for that. We're really, really excited about it.
Recently you announced an agreement with Bosch. Clearly not a lot you can say, but very important for the company. Yes, uh, yes, I cannot say much at all. Uh, many large companies have got very large transformational uh, ideas that they want to test or, or bring to market. So um, it ends up becoming a bit of a sort of military grade uh, secret, but at least they respected our, our sort of process enough to, to approve us going public with the relationship. Also, people forget we actually joined the Graphene flagship uh, as associate members with Bosch about two years ago. So often when you see something that looks small at the time or you don't understand it, you'll see the, the fruits of it later on. So um, look, Bosch, obviously a sensational company. Most people know them as a brand name around things like drills and so forth, but they're actually the largest automotive parts supplier in the, in the world. And they um, do, I think, over 70 billion euros of, of revenue a year. Um, but importantly, they're extremely uh, old and intertwined with the energy sector. So from not just batteries, but electric motors and the way the way power is made and transported and, the, and then used. So uh, this is the space where um, graphene can, can work with uh, Bosch. Um, and we can't probably say any more than that, other than it is yet another large, um, very large multinational um, alongside BASF with Shemital and with the second largest concrete company in the world being Heidelberg that Talga is working with and we expect to do a lot more. And in this space is where the margins lie. This is the space where we, uh, I think, in, in a lot of ways separate ourselves from, from others. And uh, I expect to see a lot of great things arising from these sort of larger um, customer relationships. Clearly carry the momentum from 2017 into 18. What should investors look for over the coming months? Good question. We have, uh, well, there'll obviously will always be growing. There'll always be a rollout. You'll see more technology advances. You'll see more results of testings in some of the sectors and the products we've talked about. Um, in the quarterly, we did flag that we were going to spend more time on batteries. The UK government is helping uh, fund uh, our work on, on batteries. We're working with Jaguar Land Rover, our partners, uh, Croda, Johnson Matthey are our partners in the battery programs. Uh, I don't think people have really necessarily considered what some of that Faraday Challenge relationships can do for Telgo and what, what sort of role we can play. So there's going to be an increased uh, focus on, on, on batteries, uh, in a way bolting on to the, the graphene product strategy. Uh, you'll also see that we've entered the year with our largest cash balance ever. We've got $14 million uh, at the end of the last quarter, so we're in the best shape ever. Uh, compared to other years that we're entering. We've got the most mature team, we've got the, the greatest technology, we've got our patents increasing, we've got our commercial relationships increasing. Um, we, we're basically going through all the milestones you need to do to build a serious long-term um, advanced supply chain into these exciting markets and we're in the best shape we've ever been. So, uh, so I think it's going to be a stellar year. Mark, thanks for your time. Thanks David.